They used to be associated with the hippies in the 60s, club drugs maybe, but now doctors are racing to understand the power of psychedelics and how they could treat mental health. One thing that Florida researchers are now looking into, magic mushrooms, learning more about the compound that's in them. It's called psilocybin. Yeah, a study on psilocybin is happening right now on our East Coast. So in tonight's cover story, ABC 7's Megan Miller made the trip to give you an exclusive look inside. There's no such thing as a magic pill. With any of the psychedelics, the experience is only as valuable as what you do with it afterwards. But inside this bottle, there's a pill with synthesized psilocybin, the hallucinogen in magic mushrooms. I have not seen the type of excitement that I have seen recently for compounds like these. It's not magic per se, but there's a goal to find out just how magical the compound inside the mushrooms really is. We are currently in midst of a study where we are exploring a potential of, of psilocybin, which is a psychedelic, um, as a single dose to see if that would be enough to alleviate patients who are suffering from depression. Dr. Rishi Kakar is a lead investigator for Siegel Trials. At their office near Fort Lauderdale, the participants come into this room. It's designed specifically for healing. We bring in some Palo Santo, we kind of cleanse the room a little. After patients qualify and prepare, they take the pill. The two facilitators will also join them that will stay with them throughout the process of the eight to nine hours. And the role of those facilitators in this case who are highly trained either physicians or psychologists is to provide a support system for them. Dr. Julia Mirror is one of those facilitators. The dose day itself, it's, uh, you know, it could be seven to eight hours, uh, sometimes more depending on the patient's needs. They put on music, offer headphones and a blindfold. If they want to talk about something, you know, we're there but really they're encouraged to go inward, uh, and this becomes an inward journey. Half the participants are taking a pill with about three and a half grams of psilocybin. The other half are taking a placebo. We don't know if they have the active drug, but what we always tell them is, take these hours to yourself regardless. Doctors are learning how the psychedelics create new connections in the brain, and how it helps with processing trauma. So it still happened but the feeling related to that changes in that person. The trip within isn't the final destination. After receiving the dose one time, we are just following these patients and doing assessments on them for up to a month or two later to see if the effect is still being maintained of the depression. They're trying to find out if one dose done mindfully can come in and help where other medications can't. The one of the biggest thing that we see in our current drugs is that there are still 30 to 40 percent of the patients that have either no response to current medications or inadequate response. This study in particular targets depression. We want to meet people where they're at and people want to see the evidence, so let's make that easier. As more states legalize psychedelics, the interest here in Florida is also growing. But the way to really define that, the way to roll it out to the masses is to really collect the information as much as we can. That's why some Florida lawmakers are trying to pave the way for more research, more answers and access to whatever magic they can find in this pill. The people who could benefit from this the most may not know. Now, USONA Institute is running the phase two trial that's happening in Florida and several other states. Right now, the big focus in our state is providing these options for veterans. PTSD is just one of many mental illnesses doctors believe the psilocybin could help with. We do have more information on the studies and how you can get involved in them if you're interested. You can find that on our website and ABC7 News app. I'm in the studio tonight, Megan Miller, ABC7.